Hello and welcome back to the Toronto website developer.com. I am Peter Yorsky, the Toronto website developer specializing in Drupal. And in this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at Drupal's forums, uh, specifically the advanced forum module and the author pane module that will allow you to take your forums to the next level. Uh, both of these modules combined, along with views and chaos tools, provide a little bit more functionality and a little bit of a cooler look for your forums. Um, they take them from you know your basic Drupal forum to uh, to, no to a next level that uh, looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit crisper. So let's dive right into it. When you go over to drupal.org slash project slash advanced, as you'll see I've got right here, it's not actually my URL, that's just what I've typed out, and that should be forum. When you go over there, you can download the advanced forum module, and one of the things that they tell you to do before you actually set up your advanced forum is to set up forums themselves. So we're going to do that and walk right through it. Uh, pretty quick, pretty uh, simple. But first thing you're going to do is enable the forum module out of Drupal core. So. Now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and hit form. The other thing that we want to do is we want to enable statistics. So you'll see I've already got it checked off. Make sure that that's checked off for you as well. Advanced forum module will make use of that. You'll notice I've already got views and views UI. Views UI. You're going to want to get those as well as chaos tools uh, when you get the advanced forum module. Great. So with that, we're going to go over to structure. We're going to go into forums and settings. One thing I didn't mention is uh, if you haven't watched my other previous video tutorials, you'll know that I always install the admin menu. So that's what this is up here. Uh, great module and uh, I definitely recommend it for all your projects. So going into forum settings, the hot topic threshold. Ours is going to be a new new forum, so we're not going to expect that much activity. So we're going to put this as the five. What this means is that you know once we have five posts, it's identified as a hot topic. So topics per page, we're just going to keep that down to 10 as a minimum, and we want the newest to be first, so we'll go ahead and save that configuration. Next thing we want to do, because forums are actually based on a content type and uh, using comments, what we're going to do is go into our actual content type forum topic, and we're going to configure the, uh, the comments, just make sure that they're set up properly. So you'll see here, I've got open commenting, I want threaded, comments per page, well, we'll keep it at 10. Uh, you know, if you have an active site, you, you can go higher than that. Um, I just want to make it seem like you know I've got a lot of content going on. So if I've got 10 per page, if I get 30, I got a, you know a three pager type thing. Uh, comment title got that checked off just because it's very annoying. Uh, no one really uses it that I've ever seen. And the other thing is preview comment. I'm gonna actually put that on. The, well, I'll leave it as optional. Uh, just don't keep it as required because it's obviously pretty annoying for users. So there we go. Now that we've got that set up, we can go to our home page here, and I can go into my forms. And you'll see that I've got my general form here. Um, it's you know pretty plain. It's right out of the box from Drupal. Um, not that you know we're bashing Drupal or anything like that, but it leaves a lot to be desired. So uh, before we actually install the advanced form module, one thing I should have shown you is let's just make sure that we uh, we set up a role. Uh, not sure how you're going to use your forms, but always a good idea to uh, to have roles uh, in the event that you know you're doing some complex things on your site. So I'm just going to add a form user. And then with that, I'm also going to go over into my people and leave us under account settings. Just going to make sure that they have the option to use a picture. So we have pictures and we have signatures. Again, those are good for your forms. So just make sure you have those checked off. Allows people to uh, personalize kind of their message. So we would hit save configuration, but no need to as they're already set up that way. Now the last thing we want to do is just check out the permissions. There are a few things that we're going to want to make sure here. So just scrolling down, comments, again, because we're based on the comment module. When I sure view comments, I have that as uh, anonymous and authenticated users. Post comments, same thing, my forms are open. If your forms aren't open, you could take off anonymous, take off authenticated, and just have your form user, which is what we just created. This column here is just my administrator. So my forms are going to be open. Skip comment approval, only authenticated users. And edit own comments, only authenticated users. Also want to check out down in the user. So here, view user profiles. Uh, because we're going to have a forum, uh, I'm going to enable that so that users can uh, can check each other out, um, contact each other. You know, if we added uh, that capability to do so. So I would save my permissions, and we're good to go there. So with that set up, let's go ahead and we'll enable the advanced form module to take our forms to the next level. So as I mentioned, Drupal.org/project/advanced underscore forum. So when you do that, you're going to need chaos tools. So go ahead and get chaos tools, get views. You see, I have advanced form, and I'm also going to enable the author pane. I'll show you how to configure that one as well. Uh, 
pretty neat little module. It just again takes your forms to the next levels and adds a little professional touch. Great, so with that installed, let's go over to configuration. We're gonna go into content authoring and you'll see we have the advanced forum setup page here now. Great, so you see here that the advanced forum module actually comes with the ability for you to style the forum from within the configuration page. So you see here we got Blue Lagoon, we got Cloud of the Sky, Naked, Silver Bells. I encourage you to try them all out. Uh, we're gonna leave ours as Blue Lagoon. But the cool thing about this is you can actually take the TPL files that come with the advanced forum module, copy them over into your theme, and then customize them as you want to. The same thing with the CSS files. So uh, the CSS in the advanced form module is actually uh, configured such that your style.css loads after the advanced form module. So you can put in any CSS you want and it will override uh, that that comes with the advanced form module. So two ways to customize there. Uh, and obviously you can go even further if you'd like to. Uh, but once we have that, you can look at the node types to style here. Um, again, if you have multiple content types that are all associated with your form, you would choose those. I only have the form topic, so that's why I'm leaving that there. Uh, again, style nodes here, if you want to display them as teasers, we're not going to do that, but if you were just displaying teasers, that's where you would want to select that off. Um, we only want to have our formed uh, pages attached, so uh, or sorry, styled, so that's where the term comes in. Uh, forms actually built on taxonomy, so that's what that's referencing there. Style all comments like form replies, we're actually going to have separate comments on our site uh, that are not going to be applicable to the form, so we don't want to do that. Don't want to make a, don't want to confuse users. So the tab for the form view page and the tab for the included views, uh, you'll see them when we go back to our, our forums actual home page. Uh, there's a number of different view tabs that are there, so that's what that's coming down there. Um, user picture preset, you know, if we wanted to have thumbnails for a user uh, picture preset, that's what we choose there, um, and that's pretty much it. Um, actually, last thing I want to do is I want to have uh, zero for my title uh, for my characters displaying my titles, just because I'm going to be controlling my titles. Um, and if this, I run into an issue, I can always come back and change this, but I just don't want my titles to be cut off. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save on that configuration, and uh, we'll be good to go. So now if we check this out, you'll see here, if you remember, we had that kind of blog looking form before. Now we've got this new theme kind of uh, form going on. That's based upon what we selected in the advanced form uh, selection. Um, and you'll see we also got a what's going on down here. So current active users, you know, we have one user, zero guests, right? So that's me, but there are actually two users on the site. These statistics are coming from the statistics module that we, um, that we uh, enabled. So again, we have zero posts, topics, uh, and the statistics also when we go for uh, reads, you'll see uh, how many reads a person's had. So right now, uh, these tabs, again, these are from the advanced uh, setup, the advanced form setup that I showed you. I uh, remember we mentioned uh, you know, menu tabs for the views, so that's what those are. Uh, we can go throughout these different tabs. And we're not gonna have anything active, right? Because we don't have anything going on yet. Um, now, so looking at this, forms are actually based on taxonomies. So if we scroll up here, we look at structured taxonomy, you'll see that we have the forms vocabulary. Um, and with that, that's what's going to control our actual forms. So if we went to structure, you'll see we have forms here. We can add a container. Container is actually this, this forms thing. This is a container. So if we added another container, we would have a separate actual section. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to add a container. And this container is going to be PHP. So we're going to have a general you know, discussion on PHP. right? So we're going to leave it as the root, and we'll go ahead and we'll hit save. Right, and so we have add container, add form. So let's go ahead and add form within PHP. So we're gonna call this, uh, um, I don't know, issues. Right, so issues for related to PHP. And our parent is gonna actually be PHP. So we'll go ahead and save. Right, so now when we go to our form, you'll see we still have forms. But now we have PHP and we have the issues form within PHP, right? So that's what we've gone ahead and we've created. And if we looked at our taxonomy form, and we went to check out the terms there. You'll see we have general discussion, PHP and issues, right? So that's how that works. So that's pretty much the advanced form module. Um, if you wanted to get crazy and do some customization, you could go to views and you can see all the specific views that the advanced form module provides you. So you'll see here, advanced form module comes with a bunch of different views, uh, specifically, you know, advanced form, active topics, topic list, new topics, unanswered. These are all those tabs that we saw at the beginning. If you wanted to go even crazier and created your own tab, you know, maybe for a specific uh, 
uh, let's say, uh, user role, if you know you had some, I don't know, special users on your site, you just want to see specifically what they're talking about, you can go ahead and create that and uh, add that as the menu itself. So that's the advanced forum module, uh, really in a nutshell. It's, it's pretty basic, pretty standard to use right out of the box, but it definitely makes your forums a little bit nicer. So let's go ahead and we'll check out the, um, the author pane. So that's going to add us a block, so we're going to go structure blocks. And then if we scroll down here, we see that we have the author pane. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that in the content first. And we'll save that. So with that saved, if you scroll down, we're going to go to actual configure. And we've got to choose which node types we're going to show it on. So we're only going to show it on form topic. And we'll use the thumbnail for the picture preset. Uh, I actually don't have a user picture set up, but uh, you'd want to use that if you're going to use your, uh, your user images. So with that saved, so with that saved, let's go to our actual forums. And we'll go into our general discussion here. We're gonna have a new new topic. So new topic, um, how great are these tutorials? Looking for some feedback on these tutorials. What do people think? Right? So we go ahead and we can save. So there we go. So you'll see here on the left, we have the author information, my actual name, the fact that I'm online, when I was last seen, and when I joined the site. Right, so that's the author pane. Again, pretty neat. Uh, so if we switched over to our other user here, right, so they see specifically who started this and kind of what's going on, right? Pretty neat. Um, again, it's just something that takes your forms to the next level, uh, adds a little bit more functionality. And if I had an image here, you'd see that image as well. Uh, so that's it. That's the advanced form module. That's the author pane. I hope this helps out. Um, I know when I was first starting to use forums, uh, it's not that they're too tough. It's just that there's a number of different things kind of going on and uh, it can be tricky kind of getting them under your belt at the, at the start. So hope this helps. If you have any questions, please, as always, leave a comment on torontowebsitedeveloper.com. I know some people have been using uh, the YouTube comments uh, and other sites. It's just tough for me to uh, monitor all those different sites. So if you have any questions, please come to my site. Uh, the comments are where to go. Um, I have been getting a lot of spam comments, so I've been deleting those. So if I mistakenly delete yours, please just shoot me an email and let me know. But other than that, um, you know, we'll see you soon with the next video tutorial. Thanks very much for watching.